Malta Massey, bringing you the latest happenings in dancehall and reggae music. Welcome, it's Malta Massey, and here are the stories making the cut for today. Cecile shares why she took the job. Freddie McGregor J. Vibes Cartel's lawyer confused after investigation into Fox 5 interview. Part 2 of Vibes Cartel's Fox 5 interview. TJ blames Ramesh Entertainment because of this. Stay tuned for the stories in detail, and remember to follow me on Instagram at Malta underscore Massey. <laughs> No skip the ad, no skip the YouTube ad. Top bloggers, top bloggers. High up and big up each and every top bloggers. Friday, top bloggers, top bloggers. I'm not gonna pick up and pursue the top bloggers. You never pass me till nobody know your bill of platform. Subscribe and touch the bill and get notification. The bloggers keep I post the mecca, you know where I go on. Opposite the top bloggers can't review this, you want. Brimstone went ahead and did an entire song bigging up the vloggers. Why is a Brimstone? Don't skip the ads. Someone really appreciates the work that we are putting in on a daily basis, not just for ourselves, but for the culture on a whole. This track is called Top Vloggers, Top Vloggers by Brimstone featuring H. We don't hear songs like these every day, so I must commend Brimstone for thinking out of the box to come up with a concept like this one. To listen to Top Vloggers, Top bloggers please click the link in the description box below and check him out on instagram at bb brimstone make him no say i'm out of no grammy nominated reggae artist freddie mcgregor od received yet another accolade when august 14 2021 was formally recognized by the city of hartford in connecticut as freddie mcgregor day freddie mcgregor told dan Saul mag and i quote i just give thanks me just a do what me i do a lot of things Things like this have happened over the years, but to me, it is just another day. I am just a soldier doing what I have to do, but I am thankful for a Freddie McGregor day in Hartford. It's a big deal. I'm going to be doing Hartford next year to celebrate my day. It means more to me than money. I'm just moving on and continuing the work. People recognize that I've done my work and people love Freddie. They decided that it was deserving and anything that my fans bestow is highly appreciated. I appreciate every single one of these accolades and I'm grateful to all my fans in Jamaica, the Caribbean and the diaspora. Unquote. Yes, Freddie, the people love you. You do good music. And when good music hits, you feel no pain. Don't it massive. Go and big up yourself, Freddie McGregor. It's indeed a good look. Burn them religion, burn politician, burn them division. We stand strong. Right after the interview with Vibes Cartel on Fox 5 News was aired, an investigation was launched. Yes, we were made aware of this news on Nationwide 90 FM. M. They posted it on their Instagram page and they captioned that the Department of Correctional Services, DCS, is to submit a report to the National Security Ministry within seven days about the circumstances in which murder convict and incarcerated dancehall entertainer Vibes Cartel was interviewed by a television station in the United States without permission from the DCS. Shortly after that news was announced, his lawyer did an interview interview with Sleep Magazine and this is what he had to say. Isaac Buchanan, the attorney at law representing incarcerated dancehall artist Adija Palmer, also known as Vibes Cartel, confirmed that the interview between his client and Fox 5 New York's Lisa Evers was done weeks ago. In an interview with Sleep News this morning, Buchanan said that the interview was done while Palmer was being housed at the St. Catherine Adult Correctional Center in Spanish Town. Buchanan also said that his client was transferred to Horizon Remand Center in Kingston in June. He said, and I quote, what I'm puzzled about is the fact that following an investigation, the Ministry of National Security saw it fit to move him 
him from Spanish Town Prison to Horizon under heavy guard. The interview was done while he was housed at the Spanish Town Prison. The security minister, Dr. Horace Chang, in his wisdom, saw it fit to transfer him to cure whatever concerns they have. Unquote. An investigation or announcement of an investigation now, he said, is just for show. He said, and I quote, an investigation to what end? The sensationalism now is much ado about nothing. Unquote. So I guess the lawyer just confirms that yo, it wasn't done while Vibes Cartel is in a new prison under heavy security and surveillance, but was done some time ago when he was in the prison in Spanish Town. All we can do right now is wait to see the results of the investigation. But in the main, TJ did a recent interview with BBC One Extra where he highlighted the reason why he left Ramesh Entertainment for a solid agency. I'm only going to use a short piece of it, of course, but you guys can go on over to BBC One Extra's YouTube channel to watch the full interview. There's nothing to hide, bro. You see me? You just always want to say, yo, TJ Career. TJ Career don't need somebody who has four or five people to pay attention to. You get me, bro? Like, been I do this from 2000 now, boy, way like 2004. I understand we grow in our music, you understand? We learn to use Pro Tools, engineer, build rhythm, everything. So it's like, when I feel like if I sit and wait, I have five kids and like, well, like for 2021 and 2020, I just feel like as an artist, my career just stuck one place as an outsider looking at it. You know them really? Mm -hmm. I feel like we about some things and like, if you go to a person and say, yo, what's the next move? And a person asks you, what's the next move? Yo, you feel a way, bro. So you just feel like you're in the dark. You just feel lost. And I don't know what I want, bro. And like the moment you ever say something, it's like, oh, yeah, I get hype. No, so, oh, oh, no. So I'm the artist, so what? I'm not supposed to know anything about career, but I'm still always going to respect the fact say we are come from levels to level. I have to move from levels. So if you go basic school, I have to go primary school, high school. Mm -hmm. I you feel what to so. I just feel like me I graduate from high school, upper six, you know, and I got a college, you know, you get the bro. I hear that. It's not like there's a problem. Mm -hmm. The only problem there is attention never given to my thing, bro. And we are bad artists, now. not just bad artists, we are world artists. And them say enough for self proclaim more, oh, but you have to have self confidence, you have to believe in yourself, bro. But if you don't believe in yourself, you're going to do that. <laughs> I wonder who TJ I talk about. Which artist? Hell, anyone call my name? All right, we're going to fill in the blanks. But I really do hope that this move is beneficial to TJ. Him of talent, our artist, I'm listening to over and over again. So I just wish him all the continued success. Go and big up yourself, TJ. Used to be the one that I believed in. Used to be the one that I trust. Now I'm not sure where we're standing. Now I'm not sure about us. And you didn't know we Several entertainers are coming forward to share with us that they have received both their first and second doses of the VAC. Can't say it coming on my video get taken down by YouTube. One such entertainer was Cecile. She made a lengthy post on her Instagram. Let me read it for you. So, as of July 2nd, 2021, I was fully vacked. I took the AstraZeneca. Of course, I was hesitant about taking this new vac, but I don't see a way forward without it if I'm to look at the big picture. I'm not encouraging anyone who doesn't want to take it, but I'd encourage people to look at the research and see if there is another way coming out of this with our lives and our businesses and our houses and our savings without being able to get back to life outside. Or if you think there won't be a third and a fourth wave and more lockdowns and less face-to-face -face schools without a vac. The reality is many people are dying. More will die. Many of us will lose everything. It's only a matter of delaying 
and denial until the USA says you can't travel without it or until your kids are so behind in schools or until we have lost everything, then maybe we need to rethink. I'm no longer allowing people in my homes without them being vaxxed. I simply cannot afford to. I've seen how even friends of mine have been careless and nonchalant and in denial about COVID until they caught it. And had I been a different careless person or not vaxxed, I probably would have been around them and caught it. But the difference was I have asthma and I may not have been as lucky as they were to overcome it. I looked at that and realized each of us has the responsibility not just for ourselves but for each other i'm still wearing my mask still staying in as much as possible and getting broker by the minute if you have options and answers to the two questions i've posted please comment below i came back to add if you are vaxxed it doesn't mean you can't catch covid don't be careless i never seen any vac info that stated 100 percent efficacy none vac prevents you from contracting the virus up to a high percentage but in the event you do your body is likely to fight it as opposed to if you were not vaxxed however still wear your mask social distance same way because if you are out and about behaving risky you are at some risk of catching and passing the virus on as well so massive do you support what cecile is saying about the vac for those persons who are fully vac are you guys allowing unvaxxed persons around you and vice versa let me know in the comment section below so that's it for today massive martin a big up on a nice clean self enough love enough respect blessings upon blessings upon blessings positive vibrations going out to the massive i'm out of massey my god mouth of massey mouth of massey covering the latest in jamaican music and culture like share comment and subscribe now, now. now.